Hi YouTube! So I thought I would make a quick video on my first day of my next rotation, which happens to be neurology. And um, I just finished my emergency medicine one on Friday, and I came back to where we're living, and now I'll get to stay here for my next rotation, so I'm super excited. Um, so I have neurology for the next four weeks, and this is another one of our like electives, so I actually don't have, it's not a required rotation, so I don't have a post-rotation exam, so that makes it kind of nice too. And uh, let's see, so today was not such a great day. Um, I just wasn't on top of my game, I was just kind of unorganized this morning. Um, I had some things to print off. Um, I wanted to print off some of the directions that I had sent out because when you get to the, I mean, this is probably my fault because I'm used to going to smaller hospitals, so I figure you just show up and you meet your doctor and that's easy. Um, but this is a much larger hospital system, so I needed directions not only to where to park, but like what building to walk into and what floor and all that, all that stuff and thing, I need information about my car um, so I could get like a parking permit. Anyways, I had a lot of stuff to print out. So I woke up super early. Uh, we didn't have to be there till 8, so I got up at 5.45. And it drove in. I drove into school because I was going to use the printer because we're out of ink here. And uh, I, I like... Ugh, man, it took me like over 15 minutes to try to get it printed. And it never ended up printing. I got... Um, the directions at least never printed. So it was frustrating. I just had to like get up and leave. And I don't have a smartphone, so I couldn't bring it up on my phone. And um, so I needed to be there at 8. And it was like 7.43 by the time I had given up on the printing situation. And I still had to drive to the hospital. So I'm driving, and it's kind of like rush hour too. And ugh, I was stressed out. And I was almost out of gas. Um, yeah proud moment there and then I finally get there and I figure out what parking lot I have to park in because you can't just park your car anywhere so I think I figure it out and I'm stuck way in the back there's only a few parking spots left luckily I get one I do a horrible park job I don't even take the time to fix it and then I left my coffee and my water in the car because I could not carry everything and then I uh, had to grab my computer. I wasn't planning on bringing that in with me, but that's how I I had to read off the directions on how to get up to the room I needed to be at. And it's now like 7.57, and I was like, oh my gosh. I'm usually that person who's there like 15 minutes early. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what my deal was. And um, so then I have to like run. I was not running, um, but I had to like get through this parking lot and then I had no idea I was like go through the back entrance and there were like a bunch of buildings so I just kind of picked the biggest one I had no idea what the back entrance meant so I like ran through uh this like lawn and I got mud on my pants I found out later that day I looked down and I had like mud stuck on my pants and so I finally find the door to get into like the biggest brick building and I stop at the information desk and I'm like, hi, I'm looking for this and this floor and this number. And uh, he was super helpful. He knew exactly where I was looking for. So he's like, oh, go down here and take this elevator up and do this. And so by then it's already past eight. But oh my goodness. So luckily, after I ran into him, um, I just had to get there. But that, of course, still took time. And the elevator feels like it takes forever. And I finally get up there and... I was like, oh, I probably won't be the only late person. Nope, I was. There was about eight or ten of us who were going to be doing rotations um, at the hospital there in different, I don't know, groups or different specialties. Um, but we all kind of did our orientation together. And, oh my gosh, it felt so stupid. Walking in, I sat in the back, and I was the late one. So, I, But it wasn't a big deal because there were just people giving, like, little... 15 minute talks and then we ended up having to go to a different building to do computer training because they have like their own EMR and I had to figure out that so it wasn't that big a deal but I still felt rushed and I didn't have any caffeine that day but I think my adrenaline was good enough um, 
So once we're done with computer training too, we just kind of got dropped back off at the hospital and we're just like, mm, now what? I know we need to go get our ID badges. I uh, went up to check if my doctor was there and they were on lunch and like, okay. So I went down, walked all the way across. I mean, like I said, it's multiple buildings. And they're like, what? What are you talking about? You need an appointment and you need this. And needless to say, I did not get my ID badge. Or none of us did. And I'm just kind of a mess today. And so then I just had lunch and wandered back up. And I just saw one patient today, at least in um, like clinic patient for clinic neurology. And I really like my doctor. She seems really cool. So I'm excited, and she has like a three-ring binder for me um, that kind of outlines everything she wants us to go through, and it has just like journal articles and some PowerPoints and like the neuro exam and kind of the order she wants it in and everything like that. So, well, I can't even see it, but it's just different pages. So I like that, that it's organized and kind of set up what I need to be doing. Oh, and then we have to, she said... I could get this from the library, but sorry, I don't need my computer. Um, this book is what I'll be using, and that's the one. After my research, um, this was highly recommended, and it's not too fat, so it's pretty doable. And then that's the one she said to go check out from the library, and I was like, oh, I already have it. So uh, I also have this one, which is required by our school. And, um, I know it's internal med, but there's a few neurology chapters. I have the Wards book. Oop. I gotta show the neuro chapter out of there. And yeah. Anyways, we had one patient today, and then we also had, uh, she was like on call for consults. So any hospitalized patient whose doctor thinks they need a consult of some sort, you just call them in. So that was kind of cool. We did a neuro consult on a hospitalized patient. So, two patients today. And then, um, came home. It was weird coming off my ER rotation, like, getting up in the morning, going there, coming home when it was dark at night, and, like, it was weird having kind of, like, an 8 to 5 type thing, because I got home at, I don't know, 6 today, and had dinner, and, um, I just sat down and started studying. So, anyways, that's my first day. I, I don't know too much about my well I'll know more as my rotation goes on but like I said it's neurology um, update on John he is in a different city or town than I am and he's doing his psychiatry rotation and I just talked to him um, on the way home and he said his doctor works like 11 to 5 so um, he didn't know what time to be there this morning so I showed up at 8 20 because he looked online the clinic opens at 9 or like they start seeing patients at 9. So he was there at 8.20 just in case his doctor was there early. And the nurse or the secretary or something was like, oh, wow, you're here here really early. And he was like, oh, well, you know, just wanted to be here when he came. And so after staying there for a little bit, he was like, he's like, well, he doesn't come in till 11. So that was kind of funny. Um, and that is all, I think. Um, yeah, I will let you know more as the weeks go on. Again, this is a neurology rotation. It's four weeks long. Um, I'm at a much larger hospital this time, um, as you can tell from my story. So, um, hope you all are doing well. Let me know if you guys have any questions.